Randy cooked dinner for everybody on a live video. And then the whole line made it too busy for him to continue in there, so he's out there talking to people. Carolyn's trying to talk. Save some for me. I had to give mine to Lynn. Your taco? Yes, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh huh. Sounded really convincing, Carolyn. Lynn says it's the best taco she's ever had. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I thought the best part of this picture was the hummingbird, but now I think. The best part is the reflection of the lake in the sugar water, upside down. That's a daddy. One more bird picture before we leave Fortuna Pond. This is a walk on the shady side of Fortuna Pond on the side of the road away from the water. A lot of people camp in here with their tents and it's really kind of spooky in here. Spooky. At night it's very spooky. Some kind of a gate that used to stop the water, built in October 26, 1907. Tim and I are on our way to Mitri Lake, seeing if we want to move up there when we leave Fortuna Pond. Our friend Ducky has already gone up here earlier today, so we're going to go and see if we can Check it out as the next place to be. Big years. So we're down the old canal a ways. No longer being used, of course. Built in 1906, did it say? And look at here. On the bridge. 1906, I believe those were peace signs, which didn't turn out so good. So this is Mitri Lake, and our South Dakota buddy, Ducky, that's his place right there. There's little campsites all over the place up here. There's one over there. We've been up here. There's a campfire here. Tim's about to jump off the cliff. He's thinking about it. Be better over here where the water is. It's better to splash than splat. <laughs> we came up that road there. All along over there. Four wheeling. Look how clear this water is. It's really beautiful back in here. This is part of the old canal system, um, actually still used. We talked to a guy up here that you're going to see in a minute uh, that's camped with his tent right by his place, and he says that sometimes the water is running through here very, very fast. So, you sound like you're from the Deep South. Yes, sir. I'm from Greenwood, Mississippi. Really? I don't see a vehicle. How'd you get here? I left Greenwood, Mississippi on Amtrak. Went from uh, Greenwood, Mississippi to Chicago, and from Chicago to Portland. Stayed two weeks in Portland. Uh, 
uh, went from Portland to L.A. and from L.A. to Yuma on Amtrak. Really? And then, uh, but but how'd you get up here? I, I drove 10 miles to get here. Sir, when I got when I got to Yuma, I had a suitcase and my carry-on luggage that I carried on Amtrak. The tent, everything I got was bought at a pawn shop and uh, at Goodwill, and I had a taxi to bring me out here and drop me off. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> taxi camping. Yes, sir. I had a taxi cab to bring me from Yuma out here to uh, Mitre Lake. And uh, if I need groceries, I go. I walk around and meet everybody. If I need ice, I, they make a circle. I give them money, they bring me ice. Uh, I give them money, they bring me groceries. Uh, what What do you need a vehicle for, sir, except to get back to Yuma? <laughs> I need a vehicle to come and meet interesting people like you. What's your name? My name is Joe Lindsay from Greenwood, Mississippi. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jerry, well, and this Jerry. is Tim. Jerry, glad to meet y'all. Uh, like I say, uh, everybody, uh, the ranger, the ranger came around and he said, uh, he said, sir, where is your vehicle? And I said, sir, I don't have a vehicle. I said, uh, I told the ranger, I said, uh, uh, Crazy 8 taxi cab service from Yuma brought me out here. And uh, the ranger got really, really quiet. He did. So he can't cite you if you don't have a vehicle, well, probably. Yeah. Did he tell you you still had to go by the 10 day rule? Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> And the water goes through the mountain. We don't understand this. I asked everybody around here, nobody knows why the water goes through the mountain. Yeah, he's got uh, more than one pair of overalls hanging on the line. We decided not to go up to Mitri Lake. We're on our way north to Quartzsite. Uh, highway 95 has these dips in the highway where the washes go through. And if you're driving 60 feet a vehicle, it doesn't look very much in the video, but it's really fun. It'll take your stomach away on some of them. Oh, here comes a good dip. Here we go! Whee! <laughs> so I'm on top of the motorhome. We've arrived in Quartzsite. And uh, there's somebody we know way over there. How cute is this? And our friends Robert and Adrian have arrived in their Monaco. And down here we have some people we know. You may notice a piece of a blue van there. Hi, Ron. Ron parked way over there because it's the only place he can get television reception. And on around, those are the mountains I filmed on the way in. We're at La Posa South, and that car is headed up that way where the dump and the water and the garbage is. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.